hey guys welcome to daily dsa practice and the today question which i am practicing uh, practicing is a basic calculator 2 which is a medium question but the same question has different uh, levels it has also has a hard level i think it's a basic calculator 3 and also the one so firstly i am picking the medium one and maybe uh, tomorrow i'll pick the uh, the hard one basic calculator 3 so let's understand this question first so given a string right given a string and here what we have to do is evaluate the expression and return its value right so this is your kind of an a string which is an ex expression this is an expression right so we have to evaluate it and return the value so our string which is a valid expression so you know that it's always a valid it cannot be like uh, 5 plus 2 into this is not a valid expression. So it says that it's a, always a valid expression consists of integers, operators and what all operators plus minus multiplication and divide. And also it has some spaces, right? Some empty spaces also. So an expression have all these things, right? It has integer and all these things, but it's a valid expression. So we have to return the value. So now if you are following my uh, daily DSA practice, you always know that the first step is what? Identify the use cases. Without identify the use cases, never, never, never move to the second step. Okay. So let's first identify the use cases. So first use cases which I can identify is like, okay, uh, what about if an expression only has zero, right? If an expression has only a zero, what should be the output? Output should be also zero, right? So that's okay. The second is you should understand this is okay. Uh, so here in this example, they have five plus two into two, but without without spaces, there is no spaces, but the question says that spaces also is there. So what if it is like this, uh, four divided by two and then a space. So there is an space here, there's an space here, right? So this is still a valid expression and output should come as a two. So our logic should able to handle this spaces, right? So there is one more example. I want to tell you that, uh, let's take this example, one minus one plus one. This is, looks very easy, right? What should be the output for this one? What should be the output for this one? It should be positive one. Okay. So this is the very, very basic use cases. And in the use cases itself, we know that multiplication and divide has high priority and plus and minus are low priority and the operators which are at same level we should give up uh, precedence from left to right from left to right okay so now let's say if uh, expression is here in this expression one minus one plus one so here minus and plus both are of the same priority so what it should be, it should be left to right precedence. So first is minus, then it should be become this and then one. It should not be like, okay, one plus one, one minus, I did first this, it become two and it minus one. That is wrong, right? So that's why I picked this use case that you should be know that a same, at same level operator have the precedence from left to right. Okay, so now we are understand the use cases. Now I'll tell you the approach it's like and generally the mistake which happens. So I will take this example only, right? So generally what we do is whenever the operators and uh, evaluate the expression comes in our mind, we directly jump into our stack, right? This is what generally we do. We have, okay. We have num stack, which will store the integer and which we have operator stack, which we will store the operator. So let's say currently my pointer is here. My num is one. I stored one here. Then it will become here. So I stored minus here. Then I come one here. I stored again one here. Then it become plus. I stored plus here and then plus store here. And then we'll do is like one take the operator, pick the next one, one, it become two and we push it, right? So we push it two. then we'll put two, uh, 
right this minus 1 so this is the first operator the sec uh, second uh, first integer second integer so 1 minus 2 it will become minus 1 right so this is the problem if we take two stacks the way i told you right the precedence left to right so when you take a two stack this problem will comes in right so what we have to consider for this one if you solve this one the problem is become very very easy so if you see that instead of here two stack the problem here is in the num stack the problem here is when you are putting at one okay put it one because let's say it's a positive plus one here right then you got minus so operator is now minus when you got this plus one so you you don't have to put one here you have to see okay if operator is minus you have to put minus one here right that's where we can avoid this issue which i told you before right then you got plus operator is now my plus and now you got one so it's plus one actually now you just do sum all so one plus minus one plus one so it will become positive one you see that we avoid this uh, precedence issue with only one stack but only keeping in mind that when we put a negative when the operator previous operator we have to always look at the previous operator if previous operator is plus we can exactly put that value if previous operator is minus uh, we have to put minus one here right now all we have to consider this multiplication so we have taken care plus minus how to deal with it now we have only have to consider multiplication and divide how to deal with this now i'll take you one example let's say 5 into 2 simple now with the same use case but with little modification we will solve it also so let's say my operator is here and you know that let's say i pick that uh, initial its operator is plus because uh, if it is minus 5 then our uh, counter is start from here right then operator is minus but it's nothing so uh, my currently operator is plus okay so now my num is what is your number number is 5 right and when number is 5 before putting it i always have to see that okay if it what is the operator if operator is plus i just simply put it 5 and if you know if operator is minus i will just put it minus right you know that what how we deal with the plus and minus okay now let's move forward now the operator become multiply so now this will become multiply and after putting this it became zero now it move ahead now number will become two right whenever the number will become two so my here i will see what is the previous operator a previous operator is a multiplication so now whenever it's a multiplication what i will do is i will take this out also right now five i take this out operator is into and what is the number which i got is two 10 so i will push 10 now right so this one is removed so 10 is pushed so now you see right what we did for multiplication and divide we have to do this uh, so whenever the operator is multiplication and divide we have to take out a value from the stack do the operation and push it back that's all that's the logic for this one to deal with plus minus multiplication and divide this question become hard when the question involves now the brackets right so we will see into the next question but i'll tell you the code which uh, is there right so now let's take this example 1 minus 2 into uh, let's take any 2 into 4 divide by uh, let's say uh, again 4 let's say this is the uh, problem statement right so first thing which i am doing here now let's see this one okay and one more thing in the use case one important use case which we miss we have to see is that in the input string we have only single integer right but value can also be like three four uh, zero divided by two so now here if you see that more than one 
single decimal single value also we can have a like two digit number three digit number also right so we have to take care of that also right so now here if you see that let's say here i am taking 10 so two digit instead of one digit okay so now first what i am doing is iterating from zero to end so means from where to where i am iterating from here to i am iterating to end okay what is the initial operator i have put plus so because it's now there so i have initial my operator is plus and number is currently zero nothing okay now my current index is at here this is my index at currently at one because character of at right so now here if you see that my character value currently it's one character value is currently here is one it is a digit yes so what i am doing is i am trying to create a this complete number first so it's number into 10 so currently it's a 0 into 10 plus it is 1 right so i make it 1 so it's a character right that's why i am doing this so currently number is 1 right and since uh, this i will not go inside this because currently it's a digit right currently it's a digit then I will go plus plus. Now I will move to zero. Right? Now I will again do this. Okay, it is still a digit. Yes. Then again I am doing number into 10. So 1 into 10 plus 0. So it become 10. Right? So it become, now I made a 10. Again it will not go inside this. It will go plus plus. So now it goes to minus. So it is a digit? No, now it's not a digit because now it's a minus. So it's an operator. So now it will go inside this one. So now I have a number here is 10, right? So before even working on minus, I already know that operator is plus. So you know how to deal with the plus and minus. So whenever it's a plus, I just directly push the number 10. Operator is plus, right? So directly push the number and now my number become zero again. Right and currently I'm at operator. So I'll update my operator now operator become minus. Okay, I did this now I move ahead my move ahead the same. So it will uh, it's a zero right so zero into uh, 10 plus two. So my number become now here two. Right, then it move ahead. It become multiply multiplication. So now it is not a digit, it will go inside this if. So now here it will see, okay, my number is two, operator is minus, and you know that for minus how we handle it, we put minus two, right? Then this will become zero. Now my operator will also change to what currently operator it is, multiplication, right? Now I moved here, I'd compute, okay, digit. Uh, so currently it's zero, zero into 10 plus four, it become four and then it move ahead it become divide okay so it will not go inside this it's now go inside this loop uh, so here i'll say that okay it is multiply now you know that for multiply what we did take out this number minus two into right what is the number what is four it was the four right minus into four it become minus eight so we'll push minus eight so this has been removed, right? My number becomes zero and uh, operator changed to divide now and I move ahead, right? When I move ahead, right, it become four. Now here, if you see that it become again four, right? So zero into 10 plus four. So my number will become again four. Now here, if you see that, if I go ahead, there is no operator, nothing. So means, I also check this if index is last then also I have to run this because means I have to compute whatever it is. So that's why I have this check if it is a last value last number right then also I have to go inside this. So currently operator is divide and uh, so it's like minus 8 pop minus 8 divide by 4 right so operator is divide number is 4 so what it is minus 2 so we push minus 2 this becomes 0 and operator is will become this because it's uh, no operator at so now our stack will have is 
10 and minus 2 ultimately and what we will do is ultimately when we come out of this loop we will do directly sum all these things so minus 2 plus 10 this should be 8 so output is 8 so now if we just uh, do bit ourselves 10 minus 2 divided by 4 uh, into 4 divided by 4 10 minus 2 into 4 divided by 4 so here the first priority is you will see that so this is our first priority right 10 minus 8 divided by 4 10 minus 2 8 okay so that's the problem but this is a simple problem the i told you the when the challenge will come the challenge will come when the question says that hey now in operator you also have this braces also then this question become very very tough then it will not be uh, solved with this simple this tag so we'll see you tomorrow with that hard question and uh, keep practicing guys see you bye